Hey everybody, Richard Aram Auto Diag, and today we're having a look at a Saab and the air conditioning's not working. Right, so as I say, air conditioning's not working, on auto, nothing like that, it doesn't come out cold. Um, it's full of gas, know that, confirmed that, so that's all good. Um, I've had a look through some of these control units as you can see. The only one with something really relevant in it is this engine management one. And if we have a look at that. Compressor relay, open circuit. So that's the only relevance. There is no uh, actuator test that I find. Um, or anything like that on either, any of those systems to turn the compressor on. So what I've done is rigged up a bulb under the bonnet and I've looked at a wiring diagram and we're going to see if we can get it to, to light up. Right, so under bonnet, fuse box, We've got this relay here, normal four pin slim one. So you can see that we got on the control side we got a live and on the component side we got a live so looking at this the bigger terminals is usually the ones that go down to the component what i've got is just wired up a bulb there Right, sorry about the shaky camera. So we'll get this put in and we'll jump this fuse jumper. And can we see it? Floor's glowing. Down there. So we'll move on. Right, so I've got the engine running. I've got everything connected back up apart from the relay. The air conditioning's on inside the car. I've got test light set up to battery positive and we want to see if this circuit's grounding on the control and that's a no so that should be grounded to turn that compressor on nothing's happening so if I swap over onto the negative we we'll just put our relay back in and I put a ground to this back pin here where it should be grounding out so if you can hear that changing note put it over there. you can hear the relay click you can hear the compressor cutting in and out so we've lost control on this relay so we're going to go find out where that's gone um, and it goes directly to the engine ECU according to the wiring diagram so we're going to go there. Right, don't usually do wiring diagrams, copyright and all that rubbish but it's only an old Saab so we've got our relay here that we were looking at and that's where our compressor goes down to. Now we know that all this is fine, the fuses are good, the fuse also supplies that side so we know that's good so we're concerned about this wire here that goes into the engine ECU. Um, and that's the pressure sensor for it, but that's reading fine on the scan tool. So we want to know this pin 29 on the smaller plug. And we'll check this wire out and see if we've got an open circuit, like it can't ground it. So we're going to get under the wheel arch and find it. Right, so I'm looking at the ECU plug here, up under the wheel arch, driver's side. Um, we're dealing with the smaller plug, this smaller plug here, but I can already see Sort of signs of corrosion about wiring and rubbing and all sorts so i'm going to get this connector off and we'll have a look inside right so we've got one end of the multimeter into terminal 85 there and that's supposed to come down i apologize it's not the smaller plug it's the actual bigger plug and if i get some light on it we're in that pin there which is pin 29 as you can see on the 
on the diagram here, we've got pin 7, which you can see above it, pin 29 below it, and we've got nothing. Even if we go up through the ranges, it's not even high resistance like we've got corrosion. That is just open. Yeah, for people who usually watch, this is not my normal multimeter. That is set up on another car that I'm doing at the moment for battery drain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go play, uh, find the broken wire and uh, see if we can get this going. Right, so what I've done is I've jumped in here on a wire. I've jumped it into the grey and white. And as you can see, the compressor's cutting in now. So that confirms that we've definitely got a break. Right, so following this wiring loom up comes from the ECU down there. It's on this lower part of the loom. You see there's the the grey and the white just at the top here. Now continuity tested it there and it's good. What else I did was I took this pipe out of the way and you can see this bigger loom down here and we have got continuity there and that big loom comes down around the back of the engine so I thought right let's go in the middle see if we can find it. So I got the uh, Head a tank out of the way, get a bit of access, and look at this. Pulled apart the loom just here. And you can see a bit of a rub mark there. Now, I reckon just under there, if it'll focus where my thumb is, you can see a bit of green. I reckon we might be onto a winner, so I'm going to pull this loom up, see if we can get a better shot. But I reckon that wire is going to be in half there. And there we go. There it is, one grey and white broken wire, too much light there isn't there, can't really get a better shot, there we go. So I'm going to have a good look through here, see if any of these others have got any issues. Uh, we can get this retaped and stuff, we'll get something soldered in, I'll do a recheck on it but definitely our issue down here. So. Doesn't that make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside that you can work something out properly? And as I say, if there's any other broken wires in there, we can sort that out at the same time, which is why it's always good to try and uh, find these things. This is usually more than one, and you might stop an issue in the future. So I'll get this soldered up and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so we got our wire fixed down there. Uh, I don't know if we can see down there. Yeah, you can just see that pulley. They're cutting in. All happy days, all fixed. We'll uh, run it up and make sure it gets cold. That's it, done. Thanks for watching. Come along to the next one.